Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Uh, now what we're going to do today is Final Cut Pro X. Well, it's actually pronounced Final Cut Pro 10, but what we're going to do is go through green screening, also known as also known as chroma keying. So if you filmed yourself or some sort of action event with a green colored screen in the background, how do you take that into Final Cut Pro? Take out the uh, the green background and replace it with either full motion video or a photo and then how do you make it look good without having to be a video expert how do you fill in the holes and and any other artifacts that may be there so the first step of course is to select whatever hard drive you're using and uh, Final Cut Pro 10 to store your project do a new project uh, this particular video I'm creating for this tutorial and you can watch this video on YouTube because I'll upload it right after um, right after I upload this tutorial. But this is just going to be a video pertaining to network attached storage advice. So it's for people that want to add uh, storage to their to their home network for sharing videos, music, um, final cut projects, whatever it may be. So I'm entering that name and then the default event record then junk. I'm just saying I'm going to throw this thing away after I make a video and export it. it. doesn't, I mean, it's just me talking. No footage really worth worth keeping. It's not like vacation photos or anything. So I'm going to hit OK. The, the first step we'll do is highlight in the event the video clip that you have with the uh, green screen in the background. We're going to drag it down to our project. And since this is a video clip of me speaking, uh, the first thing I want to do is just cut out uh, cut out the part before and after where I was walking to and from the camera. So to do that, I just do Edit, Blade, and I'll highlight the first part and do Edit, Delete. And then likewise at the end, when I'm done speaking, I'll do Edit, Blade, Highlight the end part, edit, delete. So now we're left with the actual video part. And as you can see here, the whole thing's got a green piece of fabric behind me. So this is actually really simple. If you've dealt with previous versions of Final Cut Pro, they weren't as user friendly for a novice. And keep in mind, I don't have a background in video production, but I find this to be easy to use. So what you'll do in Final Cut Pro this icon right here that's highlighted in blue says show or hide effects browser you select that and then you go down under video where it says keying select keying and all you do the same it says keyer select it drag it over on top of your clip and now you'll see the screen go black so that's awesome it's that simple but and this looks really clear. I mean, it's a solid because I've I've perfected my lighting, and I've perfected my uh, just my my home studio setup. And you can check out my other video, the green screen I use. It's very simple. It's very inexpensive. But if you did have some artifacts, say in this black area up here, maybe the lighting kind of messed up. Maybe there's a shadow. If you had artifacts, what you can do is select your uh, your video clip go to video and then here where it says fill holes you can drag this over and usually I found if I have holes in it I can drag it over to about 0.9 something 0.97 between 0.90 and and dot you know between 0.90 and 0.99 typically works for me now if you're really an expert you can mess with some of these other features but for my for my purposes for my YouTube videos I'll do the fill holes to about there to make sure I don't have any artifacts. And then I'll also go to audio because I my camera is really not that good. So I bump the volume up to 12. So that's the that's the first step. Now keep in mind, you see this little orange bar here? That's where Final Cut Pro is rendering. So you don't uh you're not gonna have the finalized version until that uh orange bar is completely done all the way across and you can you can view the uh, orange bar as a status 
You can also click on this right here where it says 1%. And when you click on that, it'll bring up a, this window that says background task, and it'll show you the percentage complete. But even though that's going, you can still go ahead and drag your, uh, your background. Now, what I'm going to do for this one is actually uh, two things. I'm going to show you a, a still photo. A still photos have their advantages when you're green screening because you can really make a uh, make a really just awesome backdrop and see all I did is drag that below and you can already see that it's that it just looks awesome and you can uh, you can then highlight your still photo and drag it to span all the way across the clip now say you wanted to have multiple still photos. You could paste in another one. It wouldn't have to be the same photo. I could have this one for the first uh, minute or however long of the clip and then I could put in a uh, another still photo. So it would go to that. And we'll do other videos on transitions but I mean a lot of times uh, with, these, uh, with these videos I just use a static uh, photo. Now the disadvantage when you're green screening to a still photo over a full motion video backdrop is that it's not going to look as believable in certain environments. Like for example here, this one could be pretty believable in a still photo except for the foliage back there. You've got all the leaves and stuff. Unless there's no wind at all, one would expect to see those uh, uh, those green leaves and everything blow around a little bit. The worst scenario for a still photo is like a, a beach setting where the waves are there and the waves aren't moving. So this would be a still photo example. and We'll play a little bit of this clip just so you can see. Hey everyone, Irix guy here. Now if you've got a lot of people in your house, maybe a lot... Maybe I mean, it looks really good. Final Cut Pro 10 does a really good job of green screening, but Let's take that out and let's kick it up a notch. Let's delete the still photo and let's put a full motion video backdrop. And I'm grabbing one right now from my, uh, from my other screen here. Okay, so actually we're going to have some stingrays. I was in uh, Stingray City in the Cayman Islands and I went swimming with stingrays. So I just dragged that video clip down below. Hey, and you can see. Here. Now, if <laughs> you've got that. a lot of people in your house, maybe a lot, maybe just yourself and a lot of electronic. And this brings up another point. This particular camera that I filmed the stingrays with, it wasn't in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which that's not a problem. If you've got a less expensive camera that you use to film and you want to make it a widescreen uh, presentation, all you do is select that clip in the background. And not only will this work for video clips, but it'll also work for still photos that aren't in the widescreen format. So highlight the video clip at the bottom, go to Video option within Final Cut Pro X, and then Transform. And you'll see this little box here, the square looking thing. Click that, and now you're able to manipulate the background. So it's just a dragging type process. You can drag. In this case, the height's fine, but I want to adjust the width. So I just drag it till I see no black on the corners. Now, of course, doing that, if you're a... Uh, hey, everyone. Irix guy here. Now, if you've got a lot of people in your house, maybe... A if you're a video file and you know, hey, that's, uh, you know, that wasn't 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's been stretched. People will pick up on that. But for your average Joe, for your average YouTuber, when you stretch a video such as that of the Stingray that was filmed with a, with a lesser quality camera, most people aren't even going to notice. It's still really cool. So those are the two basics of uh, green screening, also referred to as chroma keying within the Final Cut Pro X, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 product. I really like Final Cut Pro 10, and there's a lot of people out there that may have less than positive things to say about it but a lot of those people are people that were experts 
with the uh, previous versions of Final Cut Pro that weren't as drag and drop friendly as Final Cut Pro 10 is. So, hope you enjoy this. Feel free to share this video with others. And if there's anything else in Final Cut that you're curious about, let me know and I'll see if I can uh, if I can put a video together. I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm self-taught. Uh, but most everything you see on my YouTube that's not a real background is... Well, I mean, everything on there on my YouTube channel is not a real background. It's something that I've used this uh, green screen chroma key technique to create. As always, thanks for tuning in. Welcome your subscriptions. It's youtube.com forward slash Guy. Y'all have a good day.